The third element that affects depth of field is subject to camera distance. This is the distance from the camera's lens to the in-focused subject. The larger the distance between the subject and the camera, the longer the depth of field will be. And the smaller the distance between the subject and the camera, the shorter the depth of field will be. This is a phenomenon that has to do with where the lens is focused in relation to the hyperfocal distance. The hyperfocal distance is defined as the point of focus where everything from half that distance to infinity is acceptably sharp. This occurs when the focus ring of the lens is set to infinity. Keep in mind that the hyperfocal distance is dependent on both the aperture size and the focal length of the lens. So each f-stop setting for a given focal length lens will have a different hyperfocal distance. So let's say that this lens is focused at infinity and that this is our hyperfocal distance. As we turn the focusing ring of the lens, our plane of true focus changes. The hyperfocal distance is a set distance for each aperture size and does not change. Since infinity is the furthest focus setting of our lens, our only option is to turn the focus ring so that our plane of focus moves closer to the camera. As we do this, the depth of field begins to decrease in size. So when we are focused at infinity for a given focal length lens and aperture size, we have the longest possible depth of field. Notice that in both of these images, the lens is set on f2, which should give us a very short depth of field. But because the image at left is focused at infinity, the depth of field extends from one half the hyperfocal distance to infinity and thus is very long. This is the largest possible depth of field for this specific focal length lens while set at f2. In the right image, the lens is focused at the closest possible distance and thus has a very short depth of field. This would be the shortest possible depth of field for the same focal length lens and aperture setting. Using this single element to alter the depth of field has some obvious limitations with the composition of your images. As with focal length, Subject to camera distance is most often used in conjunction with the other factors to alter the depth of field and the overall look of the image.